Today I'm going to show you how to easily load weather forecast data for any worldwide location into an Excel workbook. I'll start by navigating to the Visual Crossing Weather Data Download page and logging into my Visual Crossing Weather account. If you don't already have an account, you can get one by clicking on the orange button on the right hand side of the page. Signing up for a free trial account will give you instant access to a full 15 day forecast for any location. For this demonstration, I'll select the option to manually enter the location for which I am seeking the forecast. However, I could instead load a sheet of addresses or paste in a list as plain text. Instead of actually entering an address, I'll let the system use my current location by clicking on the Your Location link. I'll also give the location a friendly name for my own reference in the result data. For the weather query type, I'll choose the default option which will give me a 15 day weather forecast. In this panel, you can also see other options such as historical data, weather summary reports, and hourly data. These are among the many options covered by our other videos and tutorials. Now, when I run the weather query, I'll be shown the weather calendar view. I can change the view to grid to see more details or download the data as a CSV file. However, instead I'll switch to the API view and copy the query URL. Now I can use this URL to load the weather query results directly into Excel. I'll show you how to do just that by switching to an Excel workbook. First I'll load the forecast data by going to the Data tab and selecting the Menu option to load data from the web. In the URL box I'll paste the Visual Crossing Weather Query URL and click OK to submit the query. Excel will then load the weather data into a preview window. You can see that our forecast query returned many weather metrics including temperature, precipitation, and wind speed. These metrics are reported for every day during the 15 day forecast window. I can now begin using the weather data for analysis. For the sake of this demonstration I'll wrap up with some simple graphs. Let's first make a graph of temperature across the forecast period. This shows me what temperatures to expect during the coming two weeks. Next, I'll make a similar graph for wind speed. Insurance companies, for example, often track wind speed and gust forecasts to position adjusters and aid supplies. As you can see, the strongest winds in my area are expected toward the end of the forecast period, but luckily they are not expected to be significantly strong. Of course, we have only scratched the surface of how weather forecast data can be used in Excel. Once you have the data loaded, you can use it for all types of predictive analysis. If you would like to learn more about using Visual Crossing weather options such as historical weather, loading multiple locations, and using weather data within other analysis tools, please see our other videos. Thank you for watching.